the kind and gentle David Faraday. Thank you for those nice words. David, on behalf of all of us who watch golf on TV, thank you for the sense of fun that you bring to the game. This is a privilege for me to introduce and set the stage to honor Tim Fincham. Tim has been a part of my life from the day I got on tour in 1986, and he, impro he has improved my life and the lives of thousands of others immeasurably. Tim likes to win, and as you're about to find out, he's not one to give little putts. But in the biggest ways, he's one of the most generous people you could ever know. Commissioner Fincham grew the PGA Tour to heights we, as players, never thought we could reach. Along the way, he grew our charitable giving into the billions. He constantly reminded us that charity is the foundation for everything we do on the PGA Tour. Tim is a visionary. He launched the President's Cup with a few bold strokes. Flying to a board meeting in early 1994, Tim said to me, Davis, we're going to have a new event. It's going to be called the President's Cup. We're going to play it in mid-September. I said, Tim, that's great, but I'll be hunting in Africa in mid-September. He said, no, Davis, you're not going to Africa. You're going to Manassas, Virginia, and you're going to play in the first President's Cup. Needless to say, that's what I did. But Tim's go-to move as a leader was always to work with others. At building a consensus, he was a plus four handicap. He always listened to player input, and he insisted that players had an equal voice on the board. And consider the groups he put together in establishing the World Golf Hall of Fame, Florida Home, the first tee, and in creating our FedEx playoffs. His devotion to work was legendary. We once went on a fishing trip together in Alaska. As our host was showing us around the lodge where we'd be staying, Tim asked, where's the phone? I may have a little work to do. Our host pointed to a closet under the stairs where there was a wall phone and a chair so you could sit and keep your head out of the coat hangers. For the rest of the trip, every time we looked for Tim, he was in the closet, on the phone, working on making the tour a better place. Golf has never had a better friend than Tim Fincham. He's been a great leader for a great organization. I was always proud to call him commissioner, but I was and always will be even more proud to call him a friend. We all know that Tim does not like the attention to be on him. He likes it to be on others. Well, not tonight. This night, you become the member of the World Golf Hall of Fame. Tim, this is your life.